Well, greetings and salutations, uh, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you are looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend an investment in the Kaplan QBank. It is the best QBank available. Uh, simulated exams, performance tracker. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, you can get it for $58.58. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content like this. This is an explication request. We will help you with any vendor's uh, practice questions. It's just easier if it's Kaplan because you can just send me the QID like this test taker did. I can put it up on the screen and uh, we can uh, help you help you with it. All right. Uh, QID 1487357. You have a customer who's been following the common stock of P PQR Corporation. In early trading, the stock is selling at 57, which is slightly above its previous all-time high. The customer accepts the stock to decline somewhat over the next few months. The customer wishes to buy. When the minute they say your customer wishes to buy 100 shares of PQR, if the stock declines to 50, you should have been able to get rid of buy a put because buy a put is a choice to sell. And they just told us in this question that what your customer wants to do is buy. So you can get rid of uh, this. The 50 put is a choice to sell the stock. That doesn't work. Uh, you want to enter a buy stop at 50. You should have been able to eliminate the buy stop at 50 because buy stops, slobs over bliss, have to be above the current market price. 50 is not above the current market price. So you can't do that even if you wanted to because the stock is 57. So that means that's out as a potential choice. And uh, let's see, uh, here wishes to buy. Let's see, selling a put. Yeah, if the stock goes fifty uh, uh, below 50, the put will have intrinsic value and I'll get exercised. And I'll be buying the stock at 50 and then my effective cost will be less than that because remember, I receive a premium for selling a put. Now, selling a put, test question, is an alternative to a limit order, meaning a way to get the stock at less than the market price is to enter or sell a put. You know, why not? If you want to buy a stock and somebody will pay you to do something you're already prepared to do, you say, why not? You know, Mr. Buffett, for example, likes to sell up uh, puts on stocks he's willing to own. He collects the premium. Uh, if the uh, put doesn't get executed, he says, neener, neener, neener. He keeps the premium and uh, moves on to the next opportunity. If he uh, gets put the stock, he says, thank you. I wanted to buy the stock anyways, right? Uh, let's look at number four. Enter a buy limit at 50. I tell my broker, if he can get the stock for me for 50 or lower, please do so. Please do so. Yeah, that would be a way to get the stock at uh, 50 or lower, right? A buy limit, that's below the market. And so the answer to this question is two and four. Two and four. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Um, you know, and now you know, right? There's two ways to get a stock. In fact, if I'm your registered option principal and you bring in the option agreement, I say, what does the guy want to do? He says, well, Dean, he wants to write puts on stocks he's willing to own. He wants to sell or short or write puts on stock he's willing to own to collect the premium as an alternative to a limit order. For example, Apple today is 190. And if you put in a buy limit at 188, I say, so you're telling me you want to buy Apple at 188 or less. You say, yes. I said, well, you can sell the 190 puts for seven. And you said, well, gee whiz, what is, what, what's that about? I said, well, if you sell the 190 puts on Apple uh, for seven and you get exercised, your effective price would be your break even, 190 minus seven, 183. You know, that's one way you get the stock less than the market price. Of course, your buy limit works, but, you know, so those are two arrows in my quiver if somebody's looking at Apple today at 190. And if they're looking at Apple today at 190 and they want to buy it for less than 190, one the way to do it is a buy limit and the other is to uh, sell a put. All right. Well, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch. Yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard. And I'll see you with the next explication request. I have a couple I'm trying to knock out here as uh, requests. So I'll probably see another couple of these pretty quickly.